MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell attempts to pounce on a top story with his hurricane updates that are hilariously ridiculous and utterly pointless. And as Floridians escape the path of Ian, Marjorie Taylor Greene's husband escapes his life with the sport-footed Georgia Gremlin. FBI comes to your door, everybody watching or listening here. Remember, you better have a stopwatch and go 39, 38, or 30, you know, and get to that door before 42 seconds is up because they're going to bash it Sick. in. Apparently, that's the bar, everybody. <laughs> Stop watches count up, and he's counting down and immediately gets lost. I love that the election numbers math whiz struggles with the basics while constantly boasting about being a professional card counter and taking calculus in the eighth grade when we see him with spectacular mathematical fails on the regular. Number C. Number C. It is pouring MAGA tears. Mike Lindell's attempt to report on Hurricane Ian is ridiculous, and his motivation is clearly not about the people. Marjorie Taylor Greene's husband files for divorce, and Alex Jones joins MTG in the bunker with some thoughts on their relationship. Plus, I check out the latest and stupid from Donald Trump, a hysterical and exclusive update from Dim Jr., and more. The Craigslist Bikini Car Wash Reject tweeted, A bipartisan agreement has been reached in Congress to send yet another 12 billion to Ukraine. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We need a full accounting of every dollar that's been sent there. We have no clue what our taxpayer money is actually being spent on. Naturally, I replied, How about the full accounting you did when you tried to deduct twice the circumference of the earth in gas mileage and forgot to disclose your ankle monitor wearing husband's six-figure oil business income. You have no clue and leave the world wanting much less of your idiocy. And uh, I guess, Brandon, you have an update for us from Florida. What's going on, Breaking? I sure do, Mike. I sure do. Uh, we're going to actually go to some footage here. Um, this is uh, just something we just found. We're kind of been scanning the social media platforms. Logan, I hope you, you've got audio. Wait a minute. Let me plug in here. I just pulled my HDMI cord out. I've got actually got... Been scanning social media for hurricane updates. I know they call this the biggest broadcast place ever, but every actual news outlet has someone on the ground reporting while discount Max Hedrum is trying to plug in his laptop to search for weather clues on TikTok. And is just texting me from Naples. I'm not going to name no names, but... Uh... Uh, that's a, that's amazing. Cancel the TikTok search. Tom Selleck's slow cousin has a breaking weather update on his replacement phone from someone that he's not going to name no names. Yeah, he is in text back here. I'm waiting. Uh, um, he says, oh, yeah, he did. He says, uh, um, if 60 mile an hour winds, um, we are not near the ocean. Uh, that, this is this guy is in more inland and... Uh, um, so they had 60 mile winds and they're not near, um, they're not near the ocean. Imagine if you were relying on getting your storm updates from a guy who was getting texts from a secret friend who's way inland. This is up there with Mike giving updates on Australia from his Hong Kong friend who's too scared to leave his apartment. His businesses are both uh, in jeopardy, huge businesses down there. It's a, uh, what's the name of it, you know? Um, the, the, yeah. Uh, it's like a huge grocery store. I, I have my products in there. Uh, it's, uh, um, he's, uh... Mike's praying for the last few owners of physical stores that carry his junk products, and that's it. Half the folders are empty, <laughs> and that's because they're sold, folks. I'm high. Letitia's lawsuit is definitely scaring me. And that's why we need to push more stuff up my nose. Bro trying to sassify our sister. Like it's brotherly and Ivanka's unrealistic. We will not sleep with Ivanka, but she's teased for two years. And they do it, worst of all, just down the hall, legs up. Like something out of what you see from tweets liked by a Texas senator. Okay, with a backdrop that, that it would be like literally Peter North typical. And we don't have holiday snaps that are truly useful when I feel my bone. Pants drop. Lather and do the tip under the cover, fast fist, against the wall. I lick the ketchup from the office. And yes, 
It was spicier than Kimberly, okay? She's as hot as mayo, guys. America first and MAGA. It's great to steal cash from basic peoples. What's going on in this country right now should scare all of us. All we're doing here is stealing money, okay? Just back Trump if you want to have more dumpster fire. Um, wow. So they, uh, yeah, he just, uh, they text me. There's no power everywhere. Um, how hard is and, it to uh, read a text message, Mike? Cell service is sketchy, internet sketchy. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, I'm just checking. I'm getting reports from all over now. Um, the, um, yeah, well, we'll be praying for them and uh, that nobody, uh, that the lives are, uh, that no one gets, uh, loses their lives down there, that they were all, they were all, they had a lot of warning, uh, you know, a lot of warning to evacuate and get out, so. Well, people had a lot of warning about COVID and they still refused the shot and laughed at masks and ended up dead. Here's one of your winners who had a lot of warning. This is the same lot that wants a civil war. I think this guy's just mad that Biden isn't trying to nuke the hurricane, change its course on a map with a Sharpie or throw paper towels. But it's gonna hit all this warm weather, all this warm weather and warm water. We have a Navy. Why don't the Navy come and drop ice in the warm water so it, that it can't get going as fast as it's going. Part of me wonders if this genius put on that shirt as camouflage for the hurricane. I'm not gonna ride it out. I'm gonna hide it out. Oh, it's the warm weather. Oh, it's the wind. Well, we have an Air Force. Drive some Air Force planes around to get the winds going the opposite way. Get the Navy to go in circles to fight it the other way. I feel dumber having watched that. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again, good dude. The blonde meat swamp's husband has left her after decades of not being able to properly handle her Mickey Rourke in the wrestler vibe with mortadella meat stumps and eyes too close together. It's weird. MTG has been swinging dong to dong like Donkey Kong for decades. Now that this fella is properly done and dusted, she'll have more energy to assist me in taking down the globalists that are trying to spread socialism, science, and facts across this flat earth. The more knowledge people have, the less open they will be to the nonsense and fear that I love to spread to the gym rats, married siblings, and stay-at-home Facebook Karens. See, I know for a fact that Joe Biden used a Chinatown super suit to personally ride a genetically modified endangered dolphin to place an IED on that pipeline to assist the Soros Trudeau Panda Express. And the fake news are only talking about MTG's divorce to distract you from Sleepy Joe's GMO flipper bomb that would actually be a pretty cool attraction at sea world but it is legit triple classified top secret i know because donald trump showed me the documents along with a lock of kim jong something's armpit hair he keeps in an olive garden matchbox on his desk right there and i want to assure you that the two of us are going strong because i can get down with that georgia gremlin all day long but her husband was a fool for not taking precautions, and he likely suffered permanent brain damage after repeated exposure. And I'm here to remind you that Alex is safe and well aware that if I get just a glimpse of those parboiled chestnut toes on Hamburg Spam can soles with the skin of a teenage Klingon living off a diet of generic taquitos haphazardly stitched to a red snapper that's been pecked to bits by Jonathan Livingston Seagull, then I will be forced, forced to activate the threat con delta switch and incinerate the entire bunker and have my memories wiped by the men in black before I end up in a straitjacket chewing paste with Mike Lindell. Because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. And uh, so th there was that. I just want everybody to know that. The second thing I want people to really not know, know here is that when, he t when they finally told me at a half hour that they said, um, we're gonna take your phone. And we argue, I said, no, you're not. I said, everything I do on this phone, there's passwords on there and files to wire money between companies. There's, I don't use a computer or a laptop, I use a phone. Again, my biggest takeaway from all this is Mike Lindell's phone has everything on it for all his companies. There's probably no password. And if there is, it's gonna be one, two, C. And once you're in, you can drain his bank and text Diaper Dawn. He's successfully told every criminal that his iPhone's a soft target with a big reward.
New documents reveal Trump did order the Navy to move the USS John S. McCain, and when it was not possible, they opted to cover McCain's name. It's just mental that he really did want the ship moved, and when they couldn't, he was just like, Okay, brown bag it, just put something over it. The emails go back to more than a month before Trump's May 2019 visit, and although much is redacted, the context is clear that the White House made the request to hide the USS McCain. The emails were disclosed under a Freedom of Information Act. Now, at the time, Donald Trump said it was fake news and that, I couldn't care less if John McCain's name is on a boat. Couldn't care less. It's a warship, not a dinghy. And it must be a real kick in the tiny nuts that McCain's name is on something big that won't be going bankrupt. Jesse Waters has spent the last few days mocking Don Lemon for trying to bring up climate change while reporting on Hurricane Ian. And then this happened. Do you think if Ron DeSantis renamed Florida Ukraine, Joe Biden would give him the federal aid faster? Well, you know what? He did. He, the, the, and, and DeSantis, Governor DeSantis made this point that the federal government, uh, the, the uh, state of Florida sent its initial request. They immediately responded and said yes. They made a request for what's called individual assistance. And you heard the governor just now reflect on it. The federal government immediately responded and said yes. So, so far, we haven't seen politics when it comes to delivery of the aid. And let's hope not. Let's hope that the, the emergency management officials in charge of the federal entity that has to relate to the state keep the politics out of it. That's what they've, that's what in Republican and Democratic administrations alike they have done in the past. Let's, let's hope that they continue to do it in the future. And so this came out of nowhere, the hurricane. If the president comes to visit, he should welcome him. He should thank him for his assistance, and I'm absolutely confident he will. Well, that didn't go how Jesse Waters planned. Grow some more hair, loser. MAGA tears. As soon as I saw that nose, I knew this would be deep state manipulation. MAGA tears. You only make comedy about Alex Jones because you can't handle the truth. MAGA tears. Step aside, beta boy. The men are here. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life short. Be cool, be kind, take care.